Hi, my name is Asti and I'm a current third year medical student. So in today's video, we are going to talk about digital note taking and organization in this era of digitalization. Why did I go digital? So I had a notebook for every subject. Questions printed out, ebooks printed out. I pushed myself to make pretty notes just because I thought I might need it in the future. But I didn't need it as much as I thought. Google and since my clinical started during this lockdown, studying and handwriting the notes on a daily basis, especially when it contained complicated pictures, was almost impossible. So I decided to ditch handwritten notes and go digital. And plus my room is a lot cleaner. So I use this app called Notion and I have been using this for the past four months but it's only been like three weeks I have been using it pretty seriously and it's like so good and I'm really obsessed with it. So here I have a workplace for my medical school. In my college we are taught in two ways, first lectures and second in short groups where we are uh, told to make uh, presentations about a hypothetical case. So for my lecture, I divide the screen and type out my notes as I, as the lecture proceeds. In the index page, I mention the date, lecturer, department, and the actual link for the slide. So I can group my lectures according to the department whenever I want. And for the part of the syllabus we study by giving presentations, I arrange it according to the chapter or case. In my college, every medical student has to present a different subchapter. So we highly rely on each other's presentations. I have a pace for every subchapter and every class. I like to make notes using active record and that is in a question and answer format. So for an example over here, this format makes revising very easy and interactive. I just fold my laptop and convert it into a tablet and lay down on the sofa and enjoy the questions. I have my lessons categorized by complete, not started or in progress. So I can easily track what is done and what is left. So the app I use is Notion and I'm really in love with it. And the best thing about it and the best thing about it is that you can customize it according to your need. And it is very customizable. You can convert a word into a subheading, a bullet point, a toggle, or a different new piece. And yeah, it's like very, I mean, you can, it's suitable for everyone and everyone. It is easy to use, but it is very different than the default Microsoft Word. That's why a lot of you might find it difficult to accommodate in this new platform. So for that, I have a template in the description box below. You can just uh, download it or duplicate it and then uh, use it for uh, and just use it I mean yeah you can do that or you can just customize it according to your need so notion can be accessed from every platform that no matter it is iOS Windows or Android that makes uh, syncing the information very easy and sometimes you might not have your laptop or your mobile in that case you can always um, use Chrome so the biggest resistance or a problem for any student or any person to go fully digital is that you will have an increase in your screen time and an increase in screen time would cause you eye strain and nobody would like that. To deal with that, I do a couple of things. I use this class which has which filters out the blue light and I have set it my windows uh, window screen to towards saturation and this I said I use lubricants and teardrops to just lubricate my eyes and take breaks in the middle. So if you like this video please like it and consider subscribing me for more uh, med school related or student life related videos and yeah so then see you next time bye bye